So what we're going to do today in this case is if they refuse to produce their oath, we're going to attempt to create a grand jury of indictment and indict the judges for treason and arrest them. And this is based on the case of Roger Hayes. Roger Hayes. And we're going to do that under Article 61 of the Magna Carta, which is still law in force in this country. So we have the lawful right to do this. Okay, so these great people have come down, many come from all parts of the country, Scotland, Wales, the South, the East, to support Roger in this because it's time in this country that we take back the control of the government from these corrupt corporations mm. that seek to oppress us by squeezing every last penny they can out of us. That is not is what the law is for. We're not a lawless people. We want to impress that. We need the law, but it must be common law. It must be common sense law mm. and not based around financial gain at all. And that's our point. Roger's ready to go. We're all set to do what we need to do here today. Uh, I have applied with you and arrested you for contempt of court to arrest that man. Susan! Susan! Thanks everyone for coming. Oh, it's brilliant, Roger. This dude's a legend. He's trying to knock him out with 
his bum and he withstood it all and kept the door shut. Do you get the story? I do, yeah, it's up on our website already. Do you understand what's happened? Yes, I do now. Tell me what's happened. <laughs> we, we arrested a judge for contempt of court and treason. Um, Mr. Sinclair just said he didn't manage to get arrested. Is that right? No, well, yes, he was arrested. Oh, was I, he? oh yes, he was arrested. Right. Fantastic. Okay. But he was definitely arrested because I arrested him. Okay. And I called on um, um, people to assist in that arrest. And then those people lawfully had arrested the judge. Were then, a, were then the, what's effectively happened is the judge was re released by the police, which is itself unlawful. So we called for the arrest of the police, the chief constable of Merseyside, for um, do you think for for, uh, um, for his subordinates? His subordinates have acted unlawfully. Okay. So this thing has escalated. I'm in court tomorrow, in the magistrate's court tomorrow, to lay this complaint to have the chief constable arrested, but also habeas corpus. Um, to, to have the two gentlemen who were who were unlawfully arrested today, okay? Might I just do a short interview for BBC Radio, if that's okay? B what, BBC, BBC Radio? Radio you're yes. not interested in this sort of thing, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can never get, the, you never get the BBC to take any notice of what's going on in well, the real world. Good. Can okay. I just ask you who you, you to identify yourself first of all? I'm Roger Hayes, I'm chairman of the British Constitution Group. Okay, what, what's actually happened today then? Today we arrested a judge for treason and contempt of court. Fantastic. Um, and uh, what, what we're finding is this happening all over the country, that we have got corrupt judges getting away with unlawful acts, okay? So the people have had enough and we're putting our foot down and we hope that the message gets out to the politicians, we have had enough. So what has the, the, this uh, judge done that is allegedly treasonable? Uh, well, it's, it's a pretty long story, but es essentially contempt of court, he has allowed fraudulent documents to be used in the courts. The council are using fraudulent documents to actually um, get people committed f uh, for uh, bankruptcy, whatever, okay? So, uh, in my hearing, when, uh, I wasn't allowed to uh, cross-examine witnesses. Uh, they wouldn't take any notice of my evidence. I had a letter from the magistrate's court that said there was no debt owed, and the judge completely ignored that. So there was a series of things that the judge actually got involved in, which were, you know, were absolutely unlawful. So today, we asked the judge if he was on his oath of office. He refused to confirm he was on his oath of office. That is treason. Uh, I asked him three times. I then read out from uh, the Diplock case about the, the miscarriage of judges and so on and so forth. So the bottom line is that we have got judges who are breaking the law in our own courts. Okay? So um, the message to the judges is get on your oaths of office, stop perverting the court of justice and get behind the people because we have had enough. So when you were in the court this afternoon, you attempted to, to arrest him, I gather? We did arrest the judge. It's a civil um, arrest. That's a civil arrest. And uh, I called on people to assist me in that process. And uh, law-abiding citizens did that. They arrested the judge. They detained him in the courtroom. We then called on the police, who actually witnessed the event, to assist in the process. The, le the police, once again, who do not know the law, reacted the in completely the wrong way and arrested the lawful people who were arresting the judge. Um, and that's why I've, I've put down a... a um, um, a later complaint that the, the chief constable be arrested tomorrow because he's responsible for his subordinates, okay? So the, the, the situation is that we, have, we now have lawful people who are in the prison cells. This is a police state. We have got to stop this nonsense now. Okay? But surely people would say that the courts are there to keep justice, to, to, to allow us to move forward. In accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. And I can't emphasize enough. We are law-abiding citizens, and we expect our judges to uphold the law. And the judges are not doing so. They are breaking the law. And I can't make m right. more than that. The fact, the bottom line is that they are breaking the law, and they need to start realising that we've, it's we've not had. That the gross prejudice and what do you expect to happen tomorrow morning vote? in the magistrates' court? We course. expect the police to do their jobs. We expect them to acknowledge the that, that we are behaving lawfully, and we have asked the police to, to get on side with the people. We're asking the court officials to get on long side with the people. We're asking the good judges. We know there's good judges out there. There's one or two corrupt judges, and we want those those corrupt judges closed down. Anything else you'd like to know? That will be fine. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, sir. And long last, I'm sorry for the big Thank you. Thank you all for coming. It makes a difference. The defendant actually asked for the contract, and there was none. Okay? So there was no contract to perform. Okay? No legal contract. He actually he's within his rights, and we all are, right, as human beings, to ask for that contract. And he, he, he said that I could, if I see the contract, maybe I can consent. He withheld his consent. 
So therefore, he was acting lawfully. At no stage did the person in court actually act unlawfully. It was the officials in that court that actually acted unlawfully. What happened then? Well, basically, uh, we, they would not actually administer the oath. So therefore, he's in breach and he should be removed. And the people standing here today that are in this, in this square should actually go to the police station and ask to get these officials removed from office and, and arrest him. So was there a particular case that was being heard today that led to this? It was, it, it was withholding council tax lawfully, and there's been two other hearings before this, and so leading up to that. That's basically all I know. Do we know what was going to happen today? There was a, apparently a bankruptcy proceeding <laughs> where, where the, the defendant was going to be brought into bankruptcy by the claimant, who is the council, right. and the council have got no proof which they've been ordered to provide to the court by the judge. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, first of all, thank you so much for everything you did today. We actually achieved the objectives that we set out today, which is to seize a court under Article 61 of the of the Magna Carta. We achieved that. People turn up to this a bankruptcy hearing today, and they proceed to, to law with the people that have been arrested. I know this is crowd going to be triple the damn size. <laughs>